Cyber Dragon Review and the Cybernetic Rebellion. You would think that this is it. This is the Cyber Dragon support we want and need to make Cyber Dragon top tier. You all have been crying so much. You want Cyber Dragon? Well, Konami gave you exactly what you wanted. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. You want Cyber Dragon? Here you go! Ultra Rare Cyber Dragon in a big box! Exactly what you wanted! If only your opponent controls a monster, you could special summon this card from your hand. 2100 attack. Well, by itself, it's not that great. Back in the day when it was really old, that was crazy good. You had to play three with no synergy with the card itself, just a 2100 attack beater. I remember we quit Yu-Gi-Oh, we came back, everyone had three Cyber Dragons in their main deck and no other cards to synergize with it just because it was 2100. Well, today, Today, that's not gonna cut it. We need Cyber Dragon support because we already have many ways to summon a level five in the field to Synchro Shokan if we want. So let's see what we could do with this. Pretty much the only other Cyber Dragon support we got alongside our Cyber Dragon is a Cyber Twin Dragon. Requires two Cyber Dragons to fusion. A fusion summon with this card allows you to make two attacks during the battle phase. 28, 28. Doesn't have any other effects besides that. Uh, that does not seem that good. Let's look at the rest of Cyber Dragon cards. Well, first First of all, Cyber Dragons is a top tier TCG deck, but I just said it's not good. Well, the synergy with it is good. Look at this. We type Cyber Dragon. These are all cards that mention the word Cyber Dragon. There are so many cards. The problem is we're missing nearly all of them. All the cards highlighted in red, we're missing so many to make this a top tier card. So definitely not a top tier deck on release, but future EX structure deck support. Look out for it. Let's see what we have right now. We already have many level five monsters that could be special summon easily for a level five non-tuner for a synchro shokan 2100 beater maybe heavy back row plus beat down i don't know mostly good for the name being cyber dragon this is important we are missing most cards that take advantage of that though so if it's only good for being cyber dragon don't we already have cards that are considered to be cyber dragon proto cyber zway and dre they are not cyber dragon in your hand so finally we have a cyber dragon that is a cyber dragon in our hand proto is only cyber dragon on the field Zway and Dre are only Cyber Dragon on the field and or graveyard. Let's see how we could make something good with this. Well, it's easier to make Cyber Twin Dragon now. The problem with Cyber Twin Dragon is you cannot use a fusion substitute with polymerization to make this. You must use Cyber Dragon plus a Cyber Dragon. So with these on the field and or multiple Cyber Dragons in your hand, you could make your Cyber Twin Dragon for the double attack. But with the Light Hex Shield Fusion, you can use this, even though I just said it requires a fusion uh, to be Cyber Dragon, you could use Hex Shield because it's not a fusion summon, it's a special summon. So you use this alongside a Cyber Dragon without polymerization, you make a Cyber Twin Dragon. Very nice. But we can't use that with the skill, Cyber Style. Cyber Style is the skill of choice to use with the Cyber Dragon deck. If your life's at 3,000 or below, per 1,000 life you're missing, you could summon a Proto Cyber Dragon in attack position, which is just an 1,100 attack Cyber Dragon while on the field. The reason we can't use Hex Shield Fusion is because the Proto Cyber Dragons on the field that are summoned through Cyber Style cannot be tributed or used as a material except when Fusion Summoning and Hex Shield Fusion is performing a special summon. But through Polymerization, you do want to use Cyber Style. We could also uh, summon Chimera Tech Over Dragon, which is a Cyber Dragon plus one machine monster. So now that you have a Cyber Dragon in your hand, when this is summoned, each turn it can attack your opponent a number of times equal to the number of fusion materials used for its fusion. You'd also want to use cybernetic fusion support with it. You pay half your life. You could use your hand, field, and or grave for fusion materials to make something like this, make a huge. That would be great. Another Cyber Dragon fusion we could use is Cyber and Dragon. Three Cyber Dragons, 4,000 attack. It inflicts piercing damage. Not that great, but uh, there you go. You could easily make it now with three Cyber Dragons in your deck. So all I have to say is I'm not impressed. That is the Cyber Dragon cards we have now. Not that great. We're missing too many cards. Cyber Dragon itself, whatever we make, Cyber Twin. That's it. Fools! Cybernetic Rebellion, new box. We are now talking about aliens. Aliens! The most recent alien deck to have any success at all is back in March. 
March. March, we have Ingram getting King of Games with a build like this. Then we have Politics getting King of Games with a build like this. And then we have Vanessa hitting King of Games with a deck like this all back in March. So what can we do with the new Alien cards to improve upon this and make it better? Much better, because no one's playing it right now. We need some big, big changes. Well, are they here? Find out. Alien Ammonite. Holy moly. Alien Ammonite, new ultra rare card. That's an alien. What else do we have? Cosmic Fortress Golgar, a synchro that requires you to use Alien Ammonite. So we have an official tuner and an official synchro. Can we make an entire deck around it? Let's try. So here we go. Here are some sample builds from Celestial, a non-synchro version and a synchro version. You could look at that later. Let's talk about this. The expense of the deck, ultra rare Ammonite, you'd probably play two to three. Cosmic Fortress Golgar, you'll probably play two to three. So so decent. The rest of the alien cards from older boxes are super free to play. Alien Ammonite. What does this card do? When this card is normal summoned, you could special summon one level four lower alien from your grave. Destroy it during the end phase. Well, you don't want to destroy it during the end phase. You're going to want to sink a Shokan. This is a level one tuner. Special summon a level four alien. Shokan into level five. Instant level five synchro. Whoa! The problem is Deep Sea Diva and Junk Synchron do it better. You need an alien in the grave, which is not real easy to put in the grave unless you're using recombination. That's a good way to put an alien in the grave but diva and junk synchron they don't need any setup at all just summon diva or junk synchron you make that arm 80s anyway so to make alien ammonite good we need a super special synchro that only he can create that would be cosmic fortress golgar requires an alien ammonite requires an alien non-tuner 2600 attack bigger than arm 80s once per turn so not on summon once per turn after surviving a potential canadia floodgate or any cards that would activate to stop you from using to fact, you could select any number of face-up spell or trap cards on the field. Well, uh, ideally, I guess you are returning your own face-up spell and trap cards, because as far as I know in the meta, there's not many face-up spell and trap cards on your opponent's side of the field. What do you do with those face-up spell and trap cards? You return them back to their owner's hands. For every card you return back to the hand, you're going to put an alien counter on the field onto a monster. You want at least two alien counters from this. So already, to make this effect good, you need to return at least two spell and trap that are face up back to the hand. What this says then is once per turn after you returned the face up spell and traps to distribute alien counters on the field, you can remove two alien counters from anywhere on the field to destroy one card your opponent controls. Two alien counters somewhere, remove the two A counters, destroy a card your opponent controls. Gotta return two face up for two counters, remove two counter, destroy. Maybe you wanna play a field spell skill like Field of Warriors or whatever, something. That's a field spell, so it's at least one card that you could return back to the hand. We could use a card called Code A Ancient Ruins. Each time a face-up alien monster is destroyed, you could place an A counter on this card. Once per turn, you could remove two A counters from anywhere in the field to special summon an alien from the grave. All this alien summoning from the grave, how are we getting aliens in the grave? Let's look at a recent version of aliens. So we have Recombination can send an alien from your deck to the grave, but that's pretty much it. That's the only good way to set up with an alien in the grave. So unfortunately, the best way to play this might be Neo fusion i'm sorry it's not my fault this might be the best way to send an alien to the grave in addition to your recombination so you could use alien ammonite to summon that alien on the follow-up turn and then get synchro shokan action brainwashing beams another good card that's face up you could return it back to your hand after stealing a monster return it back to the hand powerful rebirth could potentially be a good card overall it does not seem consistent to use this i'm not impressed especially when I just said Deep Sea Diva and Junk Synchro, I'll make a level five synchro anyway. So this would have to be much better and it's really not much better. Also something I just noticed right now, if you read any alien card, every alien card says if a monster with an A counter battles your alien, it loses 300 attack and defense for each A counter. The synchro doesn't even have that effect. That's like the core of aliens. That's what aliens do. If there's an A counter on a monster, they're gonna lose attack when battling your alien. So this is not even a real alien. What the hell? So not impressed, not impressed. I will still try to make the deck. Those are the two core cards. Ugh. We have alien dog though. Celestial had a sample deck without this synchro and without the tuner and he played it with alien dog. Alien dog, when you normal summon an alien, you could special summon this alien from your hand and then on special summon, you could place two A counters on a face up monster on the field. That is lit for telepath. Normal summon telepath, special summon dog, put two A counters 
counters onto your opponent's monster. Alien Telepath. Remove an A counter. Destroy a back row card on the field. That's pretty much all I really have to say about aliens. You could check out the sample decks again. Neos Fusion will unfortunately probably be the best way to play this deck. And I just don't really know of good cards to consistently return back to the hand. You're probably going to have to play a field spell, then hopefully have another face up spell and trap to even get the Golgar effect to go through. It also doesn't activate on summon, so it's easily disruptible. Ah, okay, moving on. We're going to review the rest of the box. It's not going to be as in depth as I would prefer it to be. But let's quickly look at those cards so you can get a general idea of what's happening when this comes out. All right, what do we have right here? Starting off with frogs. I'm not going to tell you much about frogs besides, hey, check out a sample deck list from the Discord. Hopefully it's good. Kazar is playing a bunch of frogs with Deep Sea Diva. We already talked about Deep Sea Diva for mermails. So check out this deck. These are all of the frog cards i'm not going to really go into them so check this out i am on limited time so there you go you could pause read it try out his deck list if you happen to have the cards if not i will try it out myself moving on to penguins I have nothing to say about Penguins besides look at XB8 decks, his deck. He calls it tier zero. He's obviously trolling, but he's got three Gungnir. Gungnir, level seven, water. Destroy up to two cards in the field by discarding up to two cards. That's nuts. I don't know how he does it. Probably a trash deck. Probably a really good deck. You'll find out yourself. Now, I'll actually talk about the other super rare and ultra rare cards. Reject Reborn. The trap. If your opponent direct attacks, you could negate it. Then you could special summon a synchro and a tuner from your grave. It is is optional to special summon the synchro and tuner from the grave and also their effects are negated what does it mean that's optional it means you could negate a direct attack without having anything in the grave i don't know about this this ain't it white aura dolphin super rare great generic level six synchro no special requirements any tuner any non-tuner level six 2400 target a monster once per turn reduce its attack by half and then if your white aura dolphin gets destroyed by battle or card effect you could banish one other water from your graveyard special summon this card back on the field that's nuts but i don't really know of a good water way to summon this all i'm thinking is using this with wielder and tracker those are not water but very nice nightmare penguin level four on flip it will return any card your opponent controls back to the hand and also all water monsters gain 200 attack while it's face up okay uh gale lizard is better with neos because uh that's lethal and this would not be lethal Mecha Phantom Beast O'Lion. Is this the card to bring back Mecha Phantom Beast from the grave? It's a level two tuner. I don't think this will revive Mecha Phantom Beast. It seems weak on paper, needs testing. I will try it out, but what does it do very quickly? While it's in the grave, you could banish it to perform a normal summon with a Mecha Phantom Beast from your hand. Uh, okay, its other effect is when this card is sent to the grave, so you're gonna use it for the synchro of a monster. And then when it's sent to the grave, you could special summon a level three token. Ah. Not so sure about that. Does not really help uh, you synchro. And uh, its effect in the grave is not that great. And that actually does help you get synchro summoning. But you got to have it in the grave. So that's pretty much the full box review. All the other cards are reprints like Nightbeam. We've already talked about it. Scrap Archfiend is a reprint. The Samsara is a reprint. You want to know what they did not reprint? Necro Valley. Where the hell is Necro Valley? That is the full box. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.